Because the word of God says, um, Psalm 37, 4, it says, if you delight yourself in the Lord, then he will grant you the desires of your heart. Right? And, and, and I believe that, that, that's a, that, that scripture is 100% true. I, I, I don't believe that, that granting you the desires of your heart has to do with every little thing you want, everything you feel like having. Sure, God can do whatever. God can grant, He can give. But I believe a desire of the heart is a very specific thing. I believe that my grandfather, Maximo Huerta, had a desire to see his children, to see his grandchildren, to see his great-grandchildren minister. See them serving God with all their hearts. You know, not, not performing, like in a genuine way. I believe that's what he wanted. That was the desire of his heart. And when he passed away, it seemed like it was over. But those prayers continued, the prayers of my grandfather. So when my sister heard the gospel message, my grandfather was behind that. And he was a part of why that happened. Because his prayers were active. Right? And then and then myself coming, my mom coming, my dad coming. You know, the family slowly started to come to faith. When I surrendered to the Lord, when I, when I surrendered to, to, to the message of the gospel, like for good, like it was like that. This is it. They weren't there. They weren't with me. They didn't see that happen with their eyes. But it was their prayers. It was their heart's desires that were acting, that were in motion in my life. And so, so I say that to say that there are prayers that we have, things that we want to see, and that it looks like they're not going to happen. It looks like the dream has died. And years, years went, decades went by, right, where things were, got worse. But those prayers were still there, they were still active. I use my brother Stephen as an example, you know, Pastor Stephen. Pastor Stephen. The anointed man of God. I mean, our family is so rich with ministers. There's so many preachers, evangelists, pastors missionaries and we have I mean it is just so rich and, and and even though my grandfather was not there to walk them through and to disciple them in person it was because of what he did that we had that that um, that road that we could follow right it was because of his example because of his legacy right my grandfather left a legacy of faith right and that legacy of faith does not go away with you know with time Right, it continues, no matter how many years, it doesn't matter how bad it is, it doesn't matter if, it's, if death is involved. Jesus defeated death on the cross. Hallelujah. He defeated it. There is, I mean, I don't know how much, how, how more hopeless thoughts you can have. <laughs> but, but God makes a way. God makes a way. And I believe that God is ready to, to answer your prayers. I believe that your prayers are being worked on. And I encourage you not to lose faith. The devil's going to tell you, yeah, see, now, you, see, now you're not going to get it. You know, with Moses, he wanted to lead his people into the promised land. He, that's what he wanted. He wanted to bring the, the Israelites out of, out of slavery and into blessing. And he never got to see it. Like He got to see it with his eyes, but he never got to experience it himself. But, not, but even us now are blessed through what He did, right? And so God fulfilled the desire of His heart. God fulfilled the desire of my grandfather's heart. Right? God will fulfill the desire of your heart. He will, right? Delight yourself in Him. Trust in Him. I know things look this way or that way. I get it. But we're not, we're not going by what we see. We're going by faith. We need to walk according to faith. What God says. What His Word tells us. We walk according to that and trust in Him. Keep moving forward even when forward seems like the last place to go. <laughs> Keep moving forward.